coming from where I come from anyway, the kind of punky, punky background. I mean, I'm sort of predisposed from an early age to just do what I want to do. So even when, when I first started, there was no such thing. It wasn't called spoken word. It was called, yeah, it was just poetry or performance poetry. Uh, but even then, as I say, there was a bloke on stage doing dressed as a fish. There was somebody else doing things with no words. And I mean, people weren't constrained. The kind of performance element of it was, was taken more seriously than the word poetry. It's just people doing what they want with words. And you know, anything, it doesn't, you know, to me, you're just encapsulating something in, in like a small little capsule. And that, for me, would count as poetry. It doesn't have to rhyme, doesn't have to have any formal structure, doesn't have to have anything. Painting a little word portrait or some little, it could be like a word portrait of a concept or an idea. And that, that for me, is, is enough for it to be called, to be called poetry. But no, I've, I've never really, f- spoke, you know, something like spoken word, which I remember when, when that third term first came out, it was being used by Henry Rollins and Jello Biafra, who were both punk things, to differentiate gigs where they were doing this talking and they did this sort of talking shows, like philosophy and just tour diaries and things like that. Talking shows, and to s- distinguish it from people turning up expecting to see a band, it would just be billed as spoken word. And that's where it seemed. And then you suddenly saw spoken word getting a section in record shops and things. And then, then the hip hop thing came across, and, and, and that kind of crossed over with it. Because then you got people like Ice T and whatever going on these spoken word tours with people like Jello Biafra and Henry Rollins and then and so spoken spoken word became a thing as far as I mean that's that's how I that's how I became aware of it as a term anyway but yeah so, so, so it covers it, everything for me so it's pre-hip-hop then pre-hip-hop pre-hip-hop I thought, well no, not pre-hip-hop hip-hop's been going since 1970s or whatever okay. but, but, but pre it, that but the, association but the term in the UK you said yeah. didn't come at, from at the, t- at the time that all of us lot they were just uniformly referred to as performance poets. Yeah, this is when spoken what, word what, 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 was when, a thing. When exactly are we we're talking? About? I'm talking about late eighties, late eight, no, probably a bit late, early nineties. Early nineties. Early, early nineties. I'm thinking of when all of us were called performance poets, and it was performance poetry. Spoken word as a thing. Yeah. You would see Jello Biafra spoken word tour, Lydia Lunch spoken word tour. Henry Rollins spoken word tour and then there'd be a spoken word tour with three or four of them on it and then including people like Ice T who would come and talk about so so yeah that, that, that's where it seemed to first enter my thing as this whole thing of spoken word and we have these things of spoken word and it'd be spoken word nights you know at things where it, where it would be these sort of people talking and then I guess yeah and it was hip hop just- artists coming and doing things like that without the musical back, backing right. would be built as spoken word. And so it, it, it kind of... But I, I, I don't know where it, where it entered our, our lexicon, as it were. I, I, I can't remember when nights started being called spoken well, word nights. But these are these original spoken word nights. They're <laughs> the first ones that you can yeah, yeah. remember, at least. They, yeah. weren't, uh, they weren't just performance poetry they weren't no, people no, they, they were weren't musicians. they weren't performance poetry well they the thing weren't. was is that well people like Henry Rollins he did it, lots of his stuff was these Bukowski like poems mm. but it was billed as spoken word it, spoken word coming out as a genre was people who everybody knew as musicians and singers doing this separate secondary career where they were doing lectures talks poetry that kind of thing. And it was Jello Biafra and it was Henry Rollins and Lydia Lunch and other, and it would be billed as spoken word tour. Very clearly, and they'd release spoken word albums, Jello Biafra spoken word albums, and it would say on it, on the front of it, a spoken word album. Yeah, you know, it was the first one, I think it was No More Cocoons or something, and it just said a spoken word album, and that was late 80s. Um, just to differentiate the fact that it wasn't them doing their music. Don't buy this and then complain, it's got no guitars in it. The express excess of Night in Camden was one yeah. such night in the 90s. They had, they'd have a novelist <laughs> giving a reading, they'd have yeah. someone giving yeah. a talk. Yeah. Kind of like a, a live kind of tent yeah. show. Yeah, it? so it, it became this thing, and I think, I think around that time, yeah, it, it became this vogue for you know, hip underground writers to come and talk at these things. So then that was, couldn't really be billed as poetry. It wasn't like 
a reading in the accepted going to Waterstones and hear an author read kind of thing. I mean, there was a lot in Brighton used to do this night called Do Tongues, I remember, in the late 1990s. I used to go to that thing called Do Tongues, and they would have a poet on with people like Lydia Lunch or Will Self was another one I remember going to see. Uh, journalists from like, you know, these sort of underground DJ mags, you know, obviously that whole DJ thing was bigger. So journalists from underground DJ mags reading out their like hip columns. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Poets, and the poets often from that kind of scene as well, see. So that's where it would all become, and these things were known as spoken word nights, because it was all these people I, I, I guess from genres you wouldn't normally associate and it had to have a new name for it really it's not a literary night it's not a reading it's spoken word night I mean Will Self isn't saying they're reading from his book he's chatting to you because he's hip you know so it was, it was that a lot of it came from that